Hello Gemini, welcome to your February waxing crescent reading. So this is covering February 5th through February 7th and it's a waxing crescent in Aries. So waxing crescent energy is all about gaining momentum up to something. You know, we're working our way into the full moon. So we're kind of noticing signs, synchronicities. And then Aries energy is all about divine masculine, like go, 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 ambitious, go-getter energy. So it's also starting the zodiac Aries does. So there's this energy about like baby newness. So I feel like we're working our way up to this crazy new opportunity. So let's see, Gemini, what's coming for you? I make my wax and crescent readings about abundance, money, all the good stuff coming in because it's really what we're noticing up until the full moon comes. So Let's see what's coming in for Gemini with the waxing crescent in Aries. What's coming in for Gemini? Money-wise, abundance-wise, what does Gemini need to know? Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, give me two more, Spirit. Thank you. Strength up right. Okay, one more for Gemini. Or two more. That's fine, too. Three more. You know what? I'm going to take the one on the bottom that was just screaming at me. So the Queen of Pentacles, we have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy, Leo energy with strength, Queen of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sag energy. Again, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. And then, wow, a lot of Pentacle energy. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. So let's take a look at this. So the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This is the energy that, you know, you dropped the bag. You fucked up the money in some way, but it's okay. It's all good because we have strength coming out. So strength to me lets me know that there's inner strength needed amidst an outer battle, right? Like shit's going on around you. It could be a shit show, you know, everything's burning down. But you inside still have this high vibration, this strength to carry forward. And that's what's going to give you into, get you into the queen of wands mode. So I like that um, we're kind of moving away from this queen of pentacles in reverse because it's like you experienced a loss, suffered a loss of some sort, Gemini, but we're moving into the queen of wands. We're moving into something really, really good, queendom. Then we have the ace of pentacles. So I feel like there's this like fluctuation of up, down energy. Ace of Pentacles upright is a new opportunity. It's a new earthly opportunity, like a money opportunity, an abundance opportunity. So in reverse, I feel like maybe you feel like you missed out on an opportunity of some sort or an opportunity just never made its way to you that you were hoping for. But do know that someone's coming in and I almost feel like the fact that the night is bringing it in as opposed to just kind of like this universal energy, like you don't really know where it's gonna come from, but you know it's coming. Expect this to come from a person. I feel like a person's gonna offer you something, Gemini, and you really need to keep a watchful eye out for that. Um, I think whatever opportunity this is, it's definitely a money-making job type of opportunity. It's gonna come through a person. Let's get more on what this opportunity is. Shuffle twice, cut once for Gemini with the waxing crescent in Aries. Give me more for Gemini. What is this opportunity coming in that's going to be delivered by someone else after they done fumbled the bag? Just kidding, Gemini. Lil' Kim Resilience, it's all over this. This is about bouncing back, right? This is about, you know, maybe something didn't work out before, but it's all good because the universe is full of opportunity. It's full of second chances. I'm going to take them both. Rhapsody, truth, Spinderella, transition. Yeah, this is about moving from a low vibration into a high vibration or moving from something that didn't work out for you into something that is or will. So I definitely feel like you're moving into something new, Gemini, which you guys are mutable signs anyway. So I feel like transition is kind of the name of the game for you. But then we have truth. So I feel like whatever this is that you're moving into, whatever opportunity this is, it really speaks to you. It's really something that you love to do. I'm hearing artsy too. So I feel like it's something very artsy that really is true to you. It's something that you truly love to do. All right, give me more for Gemini with this wax and crescent in Aries. What's coming for Gemini? What's this artsy opportunity or this opportunity from this other person for them to get out of that vibration or help them move from that vibration? Let's take that. 
confront. So you're going to confront someone or something. There's going to be an opportunity for a confrontation. And I don't think it's bad. I think it's you facing yourself. I kind of get that too with the resilience card. More for Gemini with the waxing crescent energy. Move. And I literally said movement transitions is the name of the game for you. And I kind of got that too with the night energy. So there's something that's requiring you to move or something that's going to make its way to you, an opportunity, Gemini, that's going to require you to be mobile in some way or make a move in some way. Maybe it's like a fast, like you got to make this decision quickly for this thing to work out. Give me more for Gemini, for the waxing crescent and Aries. my gosh, this one's a flipper. All right, we have prosperity, sisters, our happiness and joy. So there is something about prosperity. There is something about money coming in, Gemini. A lot of growth. I'm also noticing this kind of three energy right here. I don't know, this could come from more than one person. Also, the fact that this person's, I do think this is like self-confrontation, but they're looking in at someone else through another portal. So there's something in here about someone offering something to you. Let's get more for Gemini with the waxing crescent energy. More for Gemini. Light in the unexpected. So this is going to be an un unexpected opportunity. I just saw to the word the word sister sticking out to me this could be something that literally involves like your sister or you in some way let's get more give me one more for gemini with the waxen crescent and aries one more for gemini the one sticking out fool okay the fool i love this because I feel like it's twofold. Not only is the fool like maybe something you like F the bag up on before, but there's another opportunity coming because the fool in tarot is all about a new opportunity, a new chance. And even with this wax and crescent in Aries, Aries is baby energy. It's starting something new energy. So I feel like it's like you get a second chance. You're getting another opportunity to make money, to work with somebody, to confront somebody, something like that. There's another opportunity coming, Gemini. All right, give me more, give me, give me more for Gemini. What's coming with the waxing crescent in Aries for Gemini? I'm going to take that one. That one looked like it wanted to be took. You've got mail, the message communication. Okay, so there's someone, someone is literally reaching out to you. I feel like you could get an email from this person. Maybe it's a job opportunity. There's a money-making opportunity that's going to come through you th through email. The puppy companionship. And I feel like it's something someone wants to work with you on. It's something someone like is looking at you for and they're like, Gemini would be the perfect person for this opportunity. Let me get some charms for this. What's going on with Gemini and this wax and crescent energy? Okay, so I'm looking at this Eiffel Tower, and I don't know where you guys live, but I'm assuming most of you don't live in France or near Paris. So I feel like this to me symbolizes a faraway place. I feel like there's something far away coming to you, something remote. I'm getting that too with even the Ace of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles is moving into something. Someone's sending you something from far away to give you an opportunity to do something. Wow. And then, of course, we have the camera coming out on top of you got mail, the message communication. So this is literally letting me know someone's looking in at your online profile. Someone's looking at your socials. Someone is seeing you and looking at you like Gemini is the perfect person to make this happen. Gemini is the perfect person to make moves with this thing. There's a lot about moving and transition and confronting something and bouncing back, too. So I feel like, you know, Try, try again is really the name of this reading. If it didn't work out once, it's going to work out again. So trust that. I hope this resonated, Gemini. Thank you so much for watching this reading, and I will catch you in another Moon Phase reading very soon.